This is the K5 power bank from Claris. Tiny, lightweight, fast charging, waterproof. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this unit, keep watching. All right, before we begin, I just want to thank Claris for sending out the K5 power bank so that I could share it with you. As always, we'll go down to the tabletop. I'll go over its key features, its physical and performance specifications, its operation, and then I'll share my experiences with you. All right, just before we take a closer look at the Claris K5 power bank, let me just share with you what it came with. So this is the box the unit arrived in. Inside of the box, USB Type-C charging cable, and a manual with warranty information. Now what is missing from mine is a stuff sack and uh, I'm sure yours will have one if you decide to buy it. Now I'll put those things aside, bring the power bank back in. I'm gonna go through its key features and then go into its physical and performance specifications. So right off of the top, one of the things that stands out for me is that it is IP68 waterproof rated. I mean, that's the highest waterproof rating you can receive for an electronic device. And this is IP68 with an impact resistance of 1.5 meters. Very impressive. I don't have another power bank anywhere near that capability. What that does for me is makes this my go-to carry power bank when I go out on hikes because it has the capability, the small lightweight, which I'll talk about in a second, and the assurance that it is waterproof and impact resistant. So I'll be taking this with me when I go out for such things as cell phones and headlamps and flashlights that have to be recharged. It is a 10,000 milliamp, ba milliamp hour battery and uh, that's also impressive given the size of this thing. What I, One of the other features I really like about this is that it is a USB Type-C PD fast charge capable. This will charge with 22.5 watts through my watt meter making it a very quick to recharge battery. It also has trickle charge capability output, and I'll talk about what that means in a minute. Carbon fiber construction. I mean, it does look nice, but more importantly, it really means a tough, durable cover on the outside of it, and it is very lightweight. It also has a digital display, which I'll be sharing with you in a moment. Let's get into those physical specifications. I did say lightweight. How about 5.6 ounces or 158 grams. Yeah, that's nice and light, very much so. It is four inches in this dimension or 105 millimeters. That's 2.5 inches in this dimension, which is 63 millimeters. And it's a mere one half inch thick in this dimension or 13 millimeters. All right, let's go through the performance specifications to start with. I mean, this is very simple, right? The input, the input is a USB Type-C port right here. This also acts as an output port. So this is where you can charge with regular USB Type-C or USB Type-C fast charge uh, in through that port. Now the output is USB Type-A output here and as I mentioned USB Type-C output here and re measured at 18 watts outgoing. So that's pretty good for devices that can accept the faster charge in it. Now we're going to go into the operation of this thing. Just a few features but one of them is really quite key I think. So begin the simple operation is plug and play. Plug whatever device it is you want to recharge into either the my, uh, USB Type A or USB Type C port and it'll start charging automatically. But if you want to check and see what the status of your battery is, it's a simple quick quick push push of the button here and it will show you in percentage. You can see my battery is fully charged to 100% and of course then the light goes out. Now here's one of the nice features about this battery I have not seen on any other batteries at least so far and then that is the fact that this has a uh, trickle charge for low current devices. Now what I mean by that is there are some consumer devices like Bluetooth headphones and smart watches which have such a low draw that they may not even trigger the battery to produce a charge for them. I know that's an issue with some of the larger power stations that I have and some of them have features that will allow you to do that and that's also true of power banks like this. Quite often they won't recognize how low the draw is and they just won't function 
connection and they won't deliver any current. If you want to be able to use this for charging your small uh, devices like that, the ones that have such a low current draw, then you start by pressing the on off button and holding it down. And let's see if this is going to show up. With a long hold like that, a small white dot appears next to the percentage point, and that indicates that it is now ready to deliver low, low trickle charge current. So really kind of interesting. All right, we'll just turn that off and uh, long press to turn that off again. Now, I did mention that I wanted to share with you another device just to give you some comparison. So I want to bring into a picture my first ever power bank that I purchased. This is an older model Anchor power bank. It also is a 10,000 milliamp battery. So just for size comparisons, look, you can see right here, look how thick it is and how long it is and how big it is. Now, this was really, when I bought it, it was stated there. It was what was current at the time. And it's still a good power bank. It's still something I do use, but it does have some drawbacks, especially when you compare it against a new one like the Claris uh, K5. Number one is this charges with old school micro USB. It takes a long time to charge this up. It really does. And uh, as far as status, if you want to get the status, press the on off button and you can see I have four lights indicating that this is now fully charged. So it is doing so in 25% increments, not the preciseness that the percentage that the Claris K5 delivers for you. And its outputs two uh, USB type A outputs. Like I mentioned, this is still good and I still use it. It just takes so long to recharge this. And yeah, that's not a big disadvantage, but there are times when I wish it was much faster. And that's where this one comes in. Not only is it faster, smaller, with the same amount of battery power inside, but it's waterproof and shock resistant. All right, let's wrap this video up with a few closing thoughts for the Claris K5 power bank. So as I mentioned earlier, this is now my go-to power bank for when I go out into the woods. Actually, I can think I can see using this just about any time, traveling, going anywhere with it, but especially for taking for the woods. I really like the fact that this has a IP68 waterproof rating and a 1.5 meter impact rating. Those things are actually quite important to me. Not that I'm not careful with my regular power banks. It's just that things can happen. I could easily drop this in the snow or on a rock and I have some insurances that this is going to withstand and still perform for me. So it is a small compact size, light in weight and delivers 10,000 milliamp hours of power. I do have power banks that will deliver a lot more for that, but I don't often have need for that much power. If I feel I'm going to need power to recharge the batteries for my camera as well as my flashlights and cell phone and that type of thing, maybe then I'll take the larger power banks. For the most part, this is the one that I'll be taking with me. Okay, that's all I have to say about this unit. If you have any questions about it or comments, please put it in the comments section below. I will be putting all the specifications and the information where you can take another look at this unit in the video description below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.